Today, we bring Nesquik home. Let's go! What's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers I'm Barbas so we did make it home there was two little problems that we had and one of them I didn't record the offload because as soon as I got here I got off the truck and I dropped my phone and I completely shattered it so I was pretty mad about that so then after I started offloading the car we got a leak and my brake pedal went all the way to the floor so i have some kind of a leak coming from my brake line so i was completely out of brakes i ended up using the e-brake to stop the car but at least it's here now we could take care of that problem um the front bumper is off i have it on this side over here it's just sitting back here we did go to the car wash and I did wash the car 
and it looks pretty shiny but let me show you guys over here i hit it with the ultimate compound from mcguire's in this little section right here and you can tell the difference that there's like a haze on this side and right where i hit it with the compound you can see how glossy it is right here there's somewhat of a haze but either way i think we're gonna go and get a buffer and try to buff out the whole car and try to get this paint back up and shining really good it's been nine months since i did this paint job and it's held up really good um it's been about a year and a half since this car has been on the road so that brake line that busted it busted somewhere like right underneath here like right in the middle of the car somewhere so that brake line that busted is probably from all the snow and everything it rusted it out completely it's not a big deal we'll take care of that as soon as we can I do want to get all this stuff that's inside the Civic all of this stuff I want to get all that out and I want to go ahead and try to take care of the interior I don't know when but the video's coming on that we're gonna go ahead and pull out the seats pull out whatever's left in there and paint the whole interior and make it all nice and clean um, I am pretty tired right now so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a night and I will continue this video tomorrow all right so today's a different day I went ahead and I emptied everything out of the car um, it is pretty filthy everything needs to be cleaned really good I did bring some of my tools in my other car as you can see right here but I still have a bunch of stuff that I got to bring back I lined up a bunch of like random items all over and I try to hang as many things as I could on there and I tried putting a lot of stuff on the shelf that's all electrical in there um, I got like some stuff for the house random st st stuff for the house like uh, tape measure flashlights something cut wood there's random house stuff in this one this one's completely full of hammers and I did put a bunch of things up here but I still have like half of my tools over at the other place that I'm gonna have to go get um, or the car for the leak I did put a piece of cardboard underneath the car and I noticed that there is a different leak there's a leak right here this leak looks like it might be directly behind the drain plug for the oil pan but I'm not sure um, I am gonna jack up the car and throw it on jack stands uh, so I'm thinking it might be the oil drain plug or it might be um, that T where I'm stealing the oil from for the turbo one of the two that other spot that we see over here I think that has to do with the brake fluid with whatever broke it might have ran this way and then there's another one way back there that I think also that is part of the brake the braking system so the only thing I could really do is I'm gonna fix this car because I don't like how it it is right now I need the room over here so I could pull the other car in so I am gonna slide the car a little bit over this way because I got a lot of room on this side and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these under there I'm gonna go ahead and leave this camera right here to see if we see any newer leaks
So I got the whole car lifted up in the air right now. I got jack stands all over. I got an extra one right here. And then I have an extra one over here. So before I crawl under there, I haven't moved the cardboard, but you can see that there's obviously a stain there, right by the oil pan, and then one over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these under there. I'm gonna throw this one maybe under the transmission, and then I'm gonna take this one with me because I'm very paranoid when I go underneath cars. Um, so I'm gonna get a light and we'll take a look, see where that oil's coming from. So I went ahead and I threw the extra jack sand right here. It's right under the oil pan. I really don't care. It's, it's nice and open. But like I said, I really don't care if it gets crushed as long as it saves my life, you know? And then over here, I got the jack with some bricks and it's right under the transmission. It's barely touching it by a hair. Just enough in case if it drops or anything, just holds it long enough for me to crawl out real fast. So let's examine what's going on under here. This is definitely oil. You guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a lot of humidity in here. That's all water. All right, so here's the drippage and it's definitely oil pan from right here because there's nothing up here on top of it. So it's all dripping from literally right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this bolt up and that should take care of that. And for the second one, the second drip, not quite sure where it's coming from. Trying to see if the sandwich up there looks dry. Yeah, everything up there looks pretty much dry. So the only problem is right here and I'm not sure where that other drip came from but it looks also like engine oil. It might have been from moving the car back and forth around. We can't really see where the brake line is busted right now. I'm gonna have to climb in through the side of the car but it's gonna be somewhere in the middle, somewhere down there. So, I think this is where we're gonna leave this video at. And on the next video, we're gonna try to inspect all that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie in this bolt, put a new piece of cardboard down, and see if there's any more drips from anywhere else. If we see new drips, then we'll try to locate. But everything looks pretty good. That had me a little bit worried. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.